We're live. Okay. Good, 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 Yes, you're welcome to my stream. It's been a long time since the last time I stream. Uh, <laughs> what is it say, man? Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been years, man. Especially on Twitch. I usually stream on YouTube, but yeah. I'm so excited to play this game. I'm, I don't play this game for like, what? Almost one week? Because I'm an... Okay, and this is the first time that... Uh, that this... That I play the first two on stream. Usually I play like the second or third through, third play through, but now I'm. This is like the first time I play this game, so yeah. Let's check it out. And I haven't clicked it yet, okay. Ooh, so excited. Let's go. Okay, choosing my outfit first with a uh, oh, it's hot dog man. Where's the hot dog man? Oh, I haven't selected it. Okay. So, okay. See which one is good. Which one is good? The Final Fantasy one. The DLC one. Should I use the cat? But I don't like. The code. God feels weird. Well, let me adjust the volume first. Yeah, I'll go with the hot dog man. Let's see, the beginning chapter. Chapter one is still alive. A criminal mastermind, Miss Caulfield. <laughs> There's a lot you don't know about me. <laughs> Truly, is nothing easy? How do we get around that? <sighs> I'm not despairing yet. Let me take a look. I 
hope whoever Neb is, they don't mind that I'm in their pub. And if they do mind, I hope I can take them. Oh, I just realized Max has like something something of a highlight in in her hair. That's cool. Just realize it. Oh yeah. Easy peasy. Sure about this? Positive. There's nothing else, right? Uh, nothing else, that's it. No. Look on the Right, nothing there. Let's lift this thing. There's a rat, a dead rat. Wait for it. Go. Talk about descending into the mouth of hell. So glad you told me about this place. It's incredible. Ooh, that's one word for it. Uh, I had a friend in undergrad who was obsessed with this building. She never broke in, though. She clearly wasn't as crazy as you. <laughs> Urban exploration is kind of my thing. I can't see a busted old place and simply not go into it. What is it about empty spaces? Empty places. Well, uh, I don't know. An abandoned building has the potential to be anything. Just by going inside, I make it into something new. Hell yeah, let's hit the bar. Not a bad shot. Oh, let me just... Don't! What? I don't usually rearrange the space if I can help it. I want it to look exactly like it would without human interference. Got it. Hands off. Is there anything that I should be doing? This look pretty. Just sit still and look pretty. The job I was born for. <laughs> you know where this is going. For me, I mean. I know why they think I take this so seriously, man. Oh, say fuck. <laughs> so what are we looking for exactly? Besides photographing random detritus. Most of the shoots I do, I find a focus. Something to hang the rest of the series on. I'll know when I see it. Something... Lonely. The loneliest thing you can find. Gotcha, boss. Oof. Try Dang. not to breathe too deep. This place looks like it's 90% asbestos. Playing this game again reminds me of like the first game. Because the first chapter is always so calm. Hey, so... I don't know what to say. Check I don't think this worked, but yeah, it's so calm. It's like calm before the storm, you know. Looks almost like a face. How old did you say this place was? I think it was built in the 60s, but it only closed down like a decade ago. Really? It looks like it's been abandoned for 
Half a century? <laughs> Maybe the tackier something is, the faster the rate of decay. <laughs> well, I buy it. But I'm here on a photography residency, so what do I know? I'll pitch my thesis to Moses, get the physicist's perspective. Yeah, it's okay, face. I don't like it. Uh, yes, wait, I, I need to rethink. One again, why did I take this seriously, man? I cannot tell the dark. Uh, why? So, like, face got. Part yeah. an angry face and then take the photos. Okay, safe. Ooh, nice portrait. Can you photo that? Uh, no. I'd like to meet the artist, especially if this is a self-portrait. How can we like photograph this pain and then not photographing this thing? Game logic, I guess. Uh, I have my children Don't watch this. Hmm, edgy. Ready to pledge yourself to the Prince of Lies. Anything else? Let's see. Anything else up here? Oh shit! What did you say? People are being uh. Uh, I'm not an expert on the thing. You never know what's out there. Shit worse than goat heads, at least. Won't hear me argue. I've seen my fair share of shit that can't be explained. What are you smiling about? Nothing. God, I haven't been bowling. Something to bring you back to the beginning. Imagine that. Weird kid. Oh, yeah, remind me of Bowling. Fun party, though. There was an ice cream cake. Huh. Yeah, fun thing about Bowling. I recently wa wanted to go to go Bowling, but when I saw the price to rent the so lines. Showed me nope. This place. Maybe if I just ignore this, nothing will pop out of it. Guess these haven't been greased in a minute. Yeah, I don't like the angle, the, the angle of the photo shoot. Wow, it looks so much cleaner than it did online. Are there photos? Yeah, the old website is still up. I wonder who's paying the hosting fees. Someone who loves kitsch. And dust. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what should be the focus here. Here, tower. Gacha, gacha, gacha. Go like so. Figured out what your focus is gonna be yet? Not yet, but I'll know it when I see it. Good thing this building isn't on campus. My mom would definitely have had it raised to the ground by now. Think of the expensive new lit building she'd replace it with. For sure. Expensive, new, and inoffensive. Ah, yes, it's better, okay. Wait, 
But what's different with this? And to go from the past or not? Ah, uh, okay. This one is for hold button. This one is for the toggle button. Okay. Good to know. Objective for the tarp. Where's the tarp? Ah, here. But before that, there's some point do here. Do gumballs have an expiration date? They do, I guess. They. I'll pass. Is this seizing the means of production? So much for never rearranging a space. Damn. I bet that was stunning when it caught the light. Oh shit. That's it, huh? Hmm? The centerpiece you wanted, right? The loneliest thing in here or whatever. It was made to be beautiful. And now no one ever looks at it. Until today. <laughs> Something like that. Not in love with this angle, though. Oh, now you care about angle. Hello, hello. There. Help me find a way up. You got it, boss. Stairs. Let's go. Stairs. Stairs. I mean, I just started this, so it's like, what, yeah, this is like the first area you walk into. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Aww, it's cute. I think it looks like an off-brand M&M. Yeah? I think it looks like Mr. Peanut on meth, and I hate it. I wonder if there's any way to get it out of here. What, you mean steal it? I don't think we can steal it. <laughs> the big man. It's not stealing if it's abandoned. Not sure that would hold up in court. <laughs> well, doesn't even matter. It's way too big to drag out with just the two of us. Stairs, like stairs, stairs. It's block. Behold, okay. everyone's <laughs> least favorite. Oh, whoa. <laughs> you okay? Damn. Yeah, I I'm fine. That could have been bad. See, this is why you need an assistant. In case you break your ass and need an ass ambulance. <laughs> Go get your shot. Let me figure out how to get you back down. Armed and ready. Let's find that shot. One day... How are your parkour skills? Is that a bug, man? Mm. Um, any other options? I think it's a bug. Other? Yes. Better? Uh, I'll keep looking. Ain't no rule that says a carousel horse can't bowl. What's up with gnomes, man? The gnomes smoking weed really pull the place together.
Yes, actually, I, I already play like every Life is Strange games. Pretty shitty leaving these around for someone else to find. That's the second biggest monkey DJ I've ever seen. Hmm, my favorite so far. I think before the storm one. The first time that it's made by Deck Knight. The first game that it's made by Dick Knight. Wonder if the birthday room was any less terrifying back in its heyday. Take us for those. Here. Okay. What's yours, man? What's your favorite favorite one? Have you played it, like, or watch it, maybe? <laughs> wow, ballet service too. This place is bougie. Please remember to tip your ladder driver. Did you get your shot? And let's get the hell out of this death trap. Come on, I'm starving. This loneliness makes me want a sandwich. Ooh. Beautiful dismount. Check this out, it's perfect. Oh, show me the angle. Uh, that's on bed. Oh my god. What? Oh! He just like throws the camera. Wait, did he just like throw my an expensive uh, camera? Turtle? turtle. That's a long look. My powers might not last. That's okay. We will. Oh, uh, close voice. Matt. Matt. You dead? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean no. Not dead. Just thinking. Hmm. Cosmopolitan for Max. Vodka shot for Safi. Very on brand in both cases. Perfect. Thanks a ton, Amanda. Hey. You look really good today. You think so? I switched shampoos. Oh, not sure about it yet. So, what are you up to later? <laughs> um, work? I've got a dark room all nighter in my immediate future. <laughs> that Protestant work ethic's a killer. You know she was flirting with you, right? What? Amanda, are you actually this oblivious? Okay, hold the phone. I know when someone is flirting. It just takes me a while to decide if I want to flirt back. Didn't you go on a multi-year cross-country road trip? Did you get laid even once? Safi? Is this about the blue-haired girl whose picture you keep in your wallet? Oof, the memory man. You snooped in my wallet? Stop reflecting. The girl with the blue hair. What's the deal with you two? Mm. 
Oh, I like this. Okay. Uh, I mean, yeah. Look, we were kind of high school sweethearts. Okay. I like to find Frank. Okay. High school breakup turned you to Miss Havisham. It was a little more complicated than. Can can we change the subject now? No, come on. You never talk about yourself. Would it kill you to open up the teeny tiniest bit? What happened? Yeah, what happened, Max? Oh shit, this is the choice. Ah, okay, so this is the choice from like the first game. Okay, okay. Ah. This is sad. So the, ch the, the choice are sad. I mean, I. I just Chloe over the Arcadia base, so yeah, I guess we broke up. I mean, we were together for kind of a long time after high school. And then we weren't. She wanted to live in the future. I was too hung up on the past. That's all you're getting. I need more. For now. <laughs> Forever. <laughs> now change the damn subject. Deal. Amanda. Thoughts? Hey. I don't think she's Chloe. Max's time. I don't think so. I mean, maybe I'm in the minority here, but she's not really my type. She's really cool, though. Max, you're always talking about how you feel rootless. Maybe a new friend would be a good way to set down some roots. Talk to her. About what? What do normal people even talk about? Mostly gas prices. But we're aiming a little bit higher. I mean, go look around. She's responsible for half the decor in this place. Learn what she likes. Yeah. Yeah. Why the hell not, you know? Okay, then. Man, life is strange. I was the good so strong choice. Time to go be normal. All I have to do is find some things Amanda likes and then talk about them. I can do that. Yeah, totally. I'm about to fly off the handle here. What does that even mean? I'm at my limit. I I'm speaking English here. Well, are you Diamond and Reggie came to a few of my seminars, but I've never seen them hanging out before. Ah, so this is for the intro of every character, okay. How do you do, fellow kids? You guys aren't sticking around over Christmas, are you? Let's see. Stay here or go home and let my dad drag me to church three times a week. <laughs> oh, I'll be here. Besides, a lot of the Abraxas kids stay over break. We've all got tasks to finish. What kind of secret society assigns busy work? The kind that's famous for immature pranks and ragers. So, why do people join Abraxas? It just sounds like a lot of stress. The only thing worse than being in Abraxas is not being in Abraxas. If you want any recognition at all. It didn't used to be this way. It used to be about activism and creating art that matters. Now it's mostly for networking and worshipping Vin Lang, the president. Sounds like a bummer. Well, good luck, you guys. <laughs> Oh, 
books she asks her out. No way. The soup future is in my hands. Never tasted both of it before. All I have to do is find some things Amanda Wait, likes oh, and then talk about just... them. I can do that. Let's see, peanut or clam. Your clam chowder is good. When in New England, do as the New Englanders do. Let's see, let's see. Who else can we talk to? There. There's a stage. Safi says the bands that play here are small but have heart. I'm not sure if that's a compliment. Oh man, I want to get on the bad pickup line board. I wonder if anyone here knows any good ones I could borrow. You have a kidney stone? Cause your buddy rocks. <laughs> Maybe if you're in a book, you'd be fine for him. Not bad. You must be a bang. Because you have my interest, and I have to wait in line to talk to you. That's actually cool, man. But I got the worst, though. Good beer, good ethics. What else could you ask for? Use me. This is for sure upside down. Ah, yes, the telltale signs of a ten coffee all nighter. There might be some kind of a knows which beer is actually good. I could ask her. One. Talk about the beer. And... One day, I'd like to play Go with Moses and Safi. Just have to learn the game first. Uh, Polaroid, really? Yeah, really? I was Caledon's resident Polaroid taker. Clearly, someone else's. Ah, uh, undergrads. Did we just take the picture? What? There's no way this is meant to be like this. Diamond, way to go. Spear is the only thing we can talk about. What's that? What's that? Another Polaroid, okay. Jeez, Amanda has a huge family. Wonder what that's like. Okay, second clue family. Amanda recommends Misery Cult, huh? I can work with that. Three. All right. Okay. I have a handful of topics. I am completely and totally prepared to talk to Amanda like a normal human being. Though I could all busy night. Oh, Julie called off. Oh so shit! The pickup I lights. I have a single break all shift. Okay. My bladder's about to explode. Go pee. You can talk to me later. It's a fabulous idea. Don't go anywhere. That's the third glass this week, Reggie. I got this. Bathroom. Now you are a literal angel. I owe you. Out of the way, freshman. Reggie's lucky I'm not going to make him sweep up the glass. Survey question. You two know any good pickup lines? <laughs> we are actually in them. Okay. Um, 
Lots of calories in that drink. I know a great way to burn them off. No. Cool, cool. <sighs> Cringeworthy, but a classic. Maybe that'll get me up there. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Oh, I see. I Come here, my sharp little friends. Moonlighting, huh? Hey, photography's a tough industry. <laughs> Next time, remember, <laughs> the class goes on the table. My bladder thanks you. Tell your bladder it's my pleasure. So hey, you were gonna say something before all that. Mm. Let's see what the first one. Pickup lines? I gotta know what the deal is with the pickup lines. My buddy Henry and I were co-headlining a comedy night. Holy shit, you do comedy? And this is the first I'm hearing about it? Sorry, sorry. Listening quietly, please proceed. So the whole drive up, he's telling me the grossest pickup lines he can think of, trying to get me to squirm. Dumb, bro shit. Anyway, it turned into a competition, which I won. Nobody knows grosser pickup lines than a small town lesbian. And the competition turned into the chalkboard? So, give it a shot. What's the best pickup line you've got? But this is not the best one, this is the worst one, okay. Uh, let's go with B. Really kind of cringe. I know a great way to burn off the calories in that drink. There is something hot about a cute girl using a trashy frat bro line, but it's not gonna get you on board. What? Dang it. Let's... let's... Mm. Okay. So, you're a... Uh... Misery cult fan? For sure. <laughs> so cool that you know them. I need to lie, don't I? Ah, fine. Uh, yeah, they're great. The um, guitar solos, the vo the vocals. So, you've never heard of them. <laughs> Fuck. Busted. Don't hate me, please. If I had a nickel for every time I pretended to know what the Smiths sound like. So, educate me. I want to know. Misery Cult were the first band out of Lakeport to make it big. They kind of founded the Lakeport music scene. What does make it big mean in this context? I mean, they got college radio airplay as far away as New Hampshire. So yeah, <laughs> pretty big. Really hang out, uh, let's get beer first. Recommend a beer for someone who hates the taste of beer. Handlebar cider. That's the maxist thing on tap. How did you- It's my job to know the regulars. I am the all-seeing eye of Lakeport, Vermont. <laughs> You're starting to sound like one of those Abraxas guys. That dork-ass rich kid secret society bites your tongue. Let's get into it now. Those photos on the wall over there. Is that your family? Yep. All six of us, my poor mother. <laughs> I love those goobers. Plus, I'm the oldest, so they have to do what I say. Mm. So, I was thinking that we should totally do something in Lakeport sometime. You could show off the local music scene. Oh, hell yeah. There's this band, Revenge Horse, that I've been meaning to check out. Based on that name alone, I'm 100% in. Plus, pretending to be in a Revenge Horse is way cooler than pretending to be in a Misery Cult. Ha ha. <laughs> so, um, 
Oh, uh, I like to make sure that boundaries get set early. Uh, so, zero pressure, either way. But you whip. Is this a date thing or is this a friend thing? Oh God! Really, too? Oh my! Uh, I see that. I choose that. I was kind of definitely thinking a date thing. You're really fucking adorable. It's a date then. I'm so weak at this game. Look at you, Max, doing normal people shit like some kind of healthy, productive member of society. How do you feel? I have no idea. The last 10 minutes are a total blur, but a man is really cool. Ooh. Moses! Hey! <laughs> oh, how was the shoot? We almost died. We didn't almost die. Yeah, because I saved us. I deserve a medal. <laughs> so what are we doing? The night's young. We should hang out. Just the three of us? There's a meteor shower tonight. I'm conducting research, but it could be fun with other people. You should come. Both of you. That's perfect. All we need is... Hold on. <laughs> she's a mile a minute tonight. She gets this way when she's in a good mood. Courtesy of Madame President, Mommy Dearest. At least until she remembers that I have her credit card. <laughs> Shall we? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. A bunch of little pieces of a shattered asteroid. From 11 million miles away. This is what I get for introducing you to. Wow. So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? <laughs> Not in our lifetime. And it'll probably disintegrate before it reaches the surface. All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I would sleep. Waiting for Max taking picture. Oh, I'm documenting that shit. Can you imagine how cool an apocalypse photo set would be? Oh my god, this again? Nobody would see it. I'm telling you, art requires an audience. Otherwise, it's just... Okay, jeez. Agree to disagree. Awful quiet over there, Murph. Don't want to weigh in? Oh, uh, I wasn't listening. But, hey, looks like the equipment's working. Eek, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? Because, despite your attempts to convince us otherwise, you're a really sweet person. And you wanted to spend time with us. Aww. <laughs> oh, I brought cups. Figured that was better than passing the bottle around. Okay, one thing I do not from this game is like the cut. This is the best you can do? Choose. I don't work in this building. A dialogue. Don't blame me for the astronomy department's bad taste. The cut line says, kinda forced. I'm the world's horniest grandma. Grab a mug, Max. Ooh, me like nerdy. Wow. One out of two ain't bad. <laughs> I have some good news. Am I not getting uh, the joke, Smith? 
it's big, but I can't tell you what it is. You can't tell us you have good news and then- I don't want to say anything else until everything is finalized. Mysterious. Well, whatever we're celebrating, I think it calls for a selfie. Oh, let me, I just got this camera and I want to get some good use out of it. What should we say? Damn, I think I have hypothermia. Oh, this is a trailer. I've got incoming. I'm gonna, you know, um, do my thing. <laughs> Good news, huh? You two and your secrets. How you ever hold a conversation with each other is beyond me. I'm dying to know what Sophie's good news is. Maybe I can somehow convince her to spill. Okay, so let's talk to Moses. Yeah. Why can I oh, the Moses and Safi have been friends for years. Maybe he could help. We got some serious graph action going on here. I love how Moses always looks so passionate about his work. Even when he's just crunching numbers. Well, I like taking photo, but I like taking casual photo, like a candid photo. Hey, Moses. Casually lean on the telescope. I might knock it over. Pretend. Really? Ah, eh, better. That's the that's the best you can do. Hey, Moses. Doesn't some small part of you want to know what Sophie's good news is? All right. I think I have an idea. But once we go down this road, we can't turn back. Um, okay. Give this to Safi, if you can. You'll probably have to trick her into taking it or plant it on her. Like a prank? No. This has rules, so it's more of a game. Whoever holds the bottle cap has to do whatever you say. Well, within reason. Moses, I have literally never wanted to play a game more in my entire life. You say that now, but Safi has a very loose definition of within reason. And she'll come for you next. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, you mean like... Talking to someone who has an obvious crush on me? First of all, how dare you? Second of all, yes, exactly. Okay, how am I going to plant this on Safi? Hey, another one. <laughs> Yeah, we really want to date her, so... Eat your heart out, Sophie. 
Gwen and her wife are adorable. Could I hide the bottle cap in a snowball? Not sure I want to rely on my aim. I'd only get one shot. No, we cannot. Uh, let's see if we can shot this. I need to, since Safi hasn't quit smoking yet, maybe I can use it to my advantage. I'm not above relaxing my principle to give Safi that bottle cap. There might be some other hiding places up here that could work. That's a lot of cigarette butts. Are they all Safis? Okay, no big deal. I just need to outsmart the sharpest person I know. Really, Zavi? Really? Get it. I mean, hiding this in the snow is too like far from Saf. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be totally normal for me to offer her one and give her a bottle cap instead. Maybe. What could I offer to Safi that she'd take? No questions asked. Safi's like bonkers protective of that bag. Usually never lets it out of her sight. But she does seem busy writing right now. Dang, Safi snagged the good stuff from the snapping turtle. Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. What exactly is a comet chaser? Amateur astronomer or fancy cocktail? You decide. Only the highest quality drinking vessels for the astronomy department, I guess. Okay, the only possible one is like the tower can. Me and Chloe used to daydream about the adventures we'd have under skies like this. Why are you men fun, Chloe? I love that you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. After everything that happened in Arcadia Bay, I'm lucky I found this place. I haven't been this happy in years. Oh, this is a Zen moment. Need to cut the cut there. Mm. We're sour again. Safi eats these when she can't slip away for a smoke. It'd be. Just got to deliver this to Safi. Right now, let's straight now. Hey, Safi. Mm hmm. Find anything poemable? <laughs> the moon? Kind of. Though I'd hardly be the first. Carl Sandberg called it a friend for the lonesome to talk to. Mm, pretty. 
I haven't seen a moon this bright outside of Oregon. Oh, a Max biography nugget. Uh, Those are rare. You never really talk about why you came here. You already know. Your mom threw me a lifeline. Pulled me out of freelance hell. One of these days, I'm gonna find out what you're running from, Max Caulfield. That's a promise. Want some candy? Want a piece of candy? I sound like there's a few left. No, oh, twist my arm. <sighs> Shit, it's a conspiracy. Come on, Max. Surely you, of all people, would let a girl have her secrets. Look, rules are rules. And violate the sacred covenant of the bottle cap? Never. You know I'm going to get you back for this, right? Less threaty, more talk. Okay. So, well, I've been shopping around a bunch of my poetry, right? Like, as a collection. And a publisher made an offer. For real? Oh my god, Sophie! <laughs> that's incredible! Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you. Nothing signed or anything yet, so I want to keep it under wraps until all the paperwork gets signed. Understood. Your secret is safe with me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Hello? This is Safi? Yes, this is Safiya Llewellyn Fayyad. Speaking. Be right back. Did not tell us. Yeah, she didn't tell us anything. So, uh, would you really take pictures of the end of the world? Yeah, think about it. I take photos of empty buildings. An empty planet? <laughs> That's next level. Okay, but it's like Safi said. Nobody is ever going to see them. I mean, yeah, for me, it's not the point that someone will see it. It's the point that you take it. Sure, but who cares? I take a lot of photos nobody ever sees. I want to go out doing something I'm good at, you know? Huh. Oh, what? Can I have like no, my streams and my YouTube? Man. Didn't take. I like doing a, things like journey, this. So. The destination type. I mean, I guess I'm not. It's more like sometimes you reach the destination alone. And that's okay. Look at that. What a tail. Moses was right. This is awesome. It'll be our centerpiece. Not again. Are you okay? Y yeah. All good. Just dizzy. Maybe the champagne. Think I'm gonna take off? Get some rest. I can give you a ride if you wait a few minutes. No, that's okay. I think a walk will clear my head. I think so.
Oh yes, I like this song. I think they just released this song as the game come out. Cause I heard it in the trailer and I don't know what song it is. Everything I'm not by Matilda. Okay, add it to my Spotify. I'm glad Moses invited me out tonight. I can't recall exactly how you came to my life at all. It seems you always. Caledon's a beautiful campus, but. It's even better when it snows. Just waiting to suddenly appear. Call me crazy, but I know that's everything I know. Call the end and promise this is what you want. Like something we should skip or ah yes okay this is this is like the Zen moment okay. sorry what a perfect night for walking home I'll just catch up with Sophie tomorrow Amanda is a keen cultural anthropologist I see. Wait, is Yasmin like Savi's mom? I haven't read her message. Hmm. I mean, I know what happened. I know what happened. Max doesn't know. Or if I'm dreaming. Sophie's chain smoking again? I wonder what that call was about. Wow, Sophie. What did Mr. Snowman ever do? Well, someone's angry. Shot like this every day. Wow. Really? I mean, I, I didn't take it for the shot. This is not a test. Max! The emergency broadcast system is now in effect. I caused this. I caused all of this. Oh, it's a storm. Not again. Something's wrong. Sophie. Hey! Come back! Okay. 
I feel like I should check on her anyway. Better safe than sorry. Just one more says. Everything always starts like up the hill <laughs> with Maxis. What? Mmm. Mmm. Okay, Sophie, that's it. hang on. That's so loud, man. Can you not run faster? Oh, so fine. For a moment, I thought. No, 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 no. Come on. That's not a rat. That's a joke. Safi. Safi? Hey. You okay? Oh shoot. But don't say this chapter one, man. There's no way this is this is chapter one. Don't say that. Okay, yes. yes I yes. won't trade you. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. I'll always be with you. Forever. Chloe safe, Chloe is dead. time max that's fucking insane no chloe what's fucking insane is that being able to rewind time has only caused me more problems and more heartbreak if high school max could see the places i've seen the people i've met Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. It wasn't. Her name was Chloe. I thought that was a sign. I don't care if it makes me absolutely basic. 
I would 100% retire there. The bassist from the agnostic femmes named Faith. A punk band out of Oakland. She was... enthusiastic. We had a huge blow-up not long after we took this. I'm glad to only remember the photo, and not the fight. If I could undo your death, Sophie, I'd do it without a second thought. I never learned to do you, Max. Milagros Midwest, a Mexican joint in Iowa run by the amazing Francia. Best enchiladas I ever had. But so sad is there's only one like photo so glowy. Oh shit, the date? Fuck, she went through all of that alone. I hate imagining what Yasmin went through writing this post. I wish I'd been there to hear Sophie read it. Sophie's like... I think when I saw this stuff, it's like, uh, what the girl, what the dead girl from the first time again? I forget the name. Rachel, Rachel, that's right, Rachel. So we like the Rachel of this uni this universe. Shit. Oh. My place is a mess. Shit, shit, shit! I'm a mess. Can't let Amanda see the mess downstairs. Better change out of my pajamas, too. It doesn't get more batshit than twist the knife counterclockwise. And for Giallo, that's really saying something. This computer's come back more times than Jason Voorhees. Can't begin to imagine how hard this was for her to write. Let alone to keep that pro- Yasmin has been nothing but supportive throughout my time here. And I owe it to her to make time, should she need it. This site was mostly bullshit platitudes that were hard to take seriously. Thought about baking these, but that would have required a trip to the store, and- 
that would have required me to leave the house. Mm. Moses left us here weeks ago. He and Safi were having some debate about astronomy versus astrology. I wish I could remember what Safi said, but I... I've already forgotten. You forgot, I forget. What did she say? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What's this kind of janky ass? Okay, look normal. Let's go downstairs. That's <laughs> what was that animation? Like this is normal. Like this is how this is how you like getting upstairs. This place this is, is a how total you mess. Walk, okay? This is not how you run on the stage. <laughs> uh. Lakeport cop investigating Safi's death. I saw a very suspicious owl. Does that help, officer? Safi. Mmm. Grief dinner. It's chunky though, so it feels like more of a substantial meal. If only a strong cup of coffee, or five, could speed me through what I'm feeling right now. Thank you, hot sauce. You're the only pick-me-up I've had the last day and change. I swear I'll clean that one pan eventually. Amanda will understand. Where did I go? Uh, what's this? This uh, uh mm. haven't been down to the dark. I don't. I don't want the dark place, but it's well, when I saw up here lately. when I saw the center's dark room. Oh shit! I remember the first life is strange when. Should we go downstairs? I can't live in these pajamas the rest of my life. That's a chink yes animation. Okay, I love you, Deck Nine, but that that's not how you walk down the stairs. Shutterbud 420's YouTube tutorial made fixing you seem so much easier. The original award got damaged in one of my moves, but this article reminds me that winning wasn't a dream. Every time I give a workshop, some student still feels it's not real photography if it's digital. Any more point of interest? Anything? None? Okay, let's get out of there. Pupil and Iris. This baby got me an International Photography Award and a spread in National Geographic. Safi. Safi got me the frame. Max and Butterfly, man. Max and Butterfly. One of the past Hellerton artists made this. Woodwork seems so unforgiving. You have to live with your mistakes. The premier journal for the discerning Gorehound. As soon as I had a semi-permanent address, I renewed my subscription. Moses loves this. I promised I'd watch, but it's been four months and I don't have the heart to tell him I probably won't. Legend has it, Samson here is older than Hellerton itself. 
Ah, this is okay. We need to tie this, this up, okay. I've already cried through like four boxes of tissues. New personal record. I don't think Amanda needs to see a two-ply monument to my sadness today. Amanda might be down to watch a decapitated head in a bucket wreak havoc, but probably shouldn't assume. Been more than a few days since I used this. I'm not exactly in a picture taking frame of mind. This isn't one of mine. How'd this get here? Looks like one of the previous artists in residence was also a fan of Neb. Or a Neb hater like Safi. Is that it? And there's nothing else to do. One of the last things I got from Chloe. It wasn't an invitation. Even years later, this still sucks to read. You always didn't did know how to this. make every word count, didn't you? Turns out that being able to remind the master question. Yes, it was for me. It's the more often you go back in time, it's not that I'm prepared to move forward to the future, we couldn't predict. And all the messiness that brings seven Julia I knew, as much as it hurts, that you would never be able to do that. Not with me at least. Oh, I don't know why, this is... this is... Max and Koi. Broke, but... Mm, my heart. Is this the end? <laughs> Is this the end? Why must it the end? Almost everyone I ever knew. Gone. Just like that. All because of me. No, no, you make a choice. But I regret that. Oh, it's journal. I don't know. I don't know. October sixteenth, eighteenth. Next journal is my. That was actually fast. Not really up for dragging Amanda down traumatic memory lane. Best to get this out of sight. I will play the second playthrough for all the collectibles. Oh, better clean those up too. Joyce, we lost you in the storm. 
born and raised in the Pacific Northwest, but never made it to Canada till Chloe took me. Banff National Park? Better get these tidied up too, before Amanda gets here. Well, at least my house is semi-presentable. Time to get dressed. Is this the collectible? Nope. <laughs> Maybe like this somewhere. There's After the last couple of days, I had to reread Yasmin's life. When imposter syndrome rears its head, I like to remind it that I won a fucking international photography award. The high point of the series. Maybe any series. You can debate me, but you'd be wrong. I honestly hope they'd help me understand Sophie better. But now, what's the point? Oh yeah, get dressed, I forgot. Oh, Jindo. Jindo. Why purple? <laughs> Just the gender. Oh, different. It has different highlight on her hair. Okay. Ah, uh, there's only like one with highlight. I mean, like highlights so. Amanda's at the door. I hope she isn't mad that I ignored her calls. Jack, yes. The animation right there. I'm here. Not. Sure, if the doorbell works. Hey, Amanda. Welcome to hell. <laughs> oh, honey. We're doing dramatic goth kid grief. Go big or go home, I always say. She's really gone, Amanda. Sophie was here two days ago, and now- I know, Max. I know. Why would anybody want to- I mean, she was just- I appreciate you checking in on me. You didn't have to. Oh, I 100% did. Nobody's seen you for two days. I'll begrudgingly admit, it is nice to see a friendly face. A friendly face. With food. Homegrown salad and homemade focaccia. Damn. Okay, then. I would have been happy with old Halloween candy and a Pop-Tart. <laughs> Full disclosure, I... Don't exactly have the biggest of appetites right now. Really? Eating always makes me feel better. Never encountered a mood that couldn't be improved by demolishing an entire pizza solo. You just wait till I'm feeling better. I could eat you under the table. This. <laughs> <laughs> Wowzers. Uh okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, this is this is gonna be hard on me. Um
Oh, it's just axe for now. Shit, that came out wrong. My thoughts have been kind of. It's cool. <laughs> I'll never be able to hear drink you under the table the same way again. You need to eat, Max. The stuff that makes you feel close to normal again is usually what you need the most. Whoa. I haven't seen one of these since I was like 10. I would have figured instant cameras were a professional photography no-no. I like them. Always have. So, I don't know, tactile. Looking through the viewfinder, holding the photo in your hands, it feels more real. Another way to make you feel normal again? Taking a picture of your friend Amanda. Friend? Oh, shh. Yeah, we... I know you asked me out. But honestly... You've got a lot on your plate. Emotionally. <laughs> Dang it. And yes, it's right, it's right. You know, you're probably right. You do know I think you're cool as fuck, right? Even if you're not in the headspace for anything romantic. Now, how about that photo? That's what I'm talking about. I can't believe she's making me do this. How should I pose for Caledon's illustrious artist in residence? Hey. Show me your goofy side. <laughs> nice. How about you give me something stoic? Hmm, supermodel. <laughs> Got it. I the goofy side bit. Actually, let's try the silly face again. I like that one. Double exposure. What do you mean double exposure? Ah, it's like a JoJo scan on top. <laughs> JoJo stands. <laughs> I'm gonna detect a photo. Once again, why why do I take this seriously, man? Nah, anything. How about another one? 
Different pose this time. Okay. Why not? <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's Sophie's mom. Um, just... Just a sec, okay? Hi, Yasmin. Hi. Hi, Maxine. How are you holding up? Uh, there's no graceful way to answer that question. Not without lying. Have you ever dealt with loss like this? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I Sadly, I have. Is it only me or there is no song in this? It doesn't get easier, but it can hurt less with time. A bitter bomb. I wanted to talk to you face to face, uh, if possible. Doing this over the phone feels so... Of course. Um, I can come by today. I'll be in my office all day. Just let Vin know when you arrive. Everything okay? Not sure. I need to head to campus to meet with her. I can't thank you enough for coming by, Amanda. It's what you do. This is the one thing that brightened your mood today. Aside from me. <laughs> Come on. I'll walk with you. Yasmin's office is in the old administration building. Well, time to see if these jokers burn down the turtle in my absence. Will I see you later? You know where to find me. Fuck me. Better head to the admin building. Yasmin's expecting me. For that, let's see if there is any point of interest. Be like some door. Graffiti rock looks so naked. Damn it! Blow me, box! I wonder what's got Reggie so pissed off. Whoa, very Hellraiser. I wonder what's inside. Shit's all yours if you want it. So, what's this about? It's an Abraxas puzzle box. It's got goodies inside, but only for those who can open it. Aren't you a member? Why all the arcane bullshit? Sorry. 
society secret. I can tell you that it's meant to test a key of Braxis virtue. The eye for detail. <laughs> Whatever the hell that means. You want to give it a shot? for detail, huh? This is supposed to be that statue over there, right? The founder statue? Yeah, I, I think so. Where's his other bird? There should be two. Huh? Oh, I didn't even notice that. Maybe this is supposed to be Thomas Caledon's missing crow. Is that... wax around it? Hey, do you have a lighter? Yeah? Why? What are you thinking? Observe. No shit. Second test. Of course. Oh, hell no. It, it's your headache now. Are you sure? Really. Good riddance. <laughs> oh, that's kind of interesting. interesting. I missed you in workshop last week. I'm trying not to take it personally. God, you saw my last shoot. It was dog shit. It was rough, but it was honest. You're a natural, whether you like it or not. You think so? Shit. <laughs> I've never been a natural before. Are you holding up okay? Me? I, I don't know. I, I didn't really know Safi. Seems kind of weird to be fucked up about it. Seems like there's a butt coming. I mean... But... I guess I'm fucked up about it anyways. <laughs> kind of seems like the whole campus is. All right. Catch you later, Reggie. I still need to meet with Yasmin. Can't put it off forever. Sorry if I don't talk that much, uh, man. It's a story game. <laughs> if the character is dialoguing, I won't speak at all. I'll try not to speak. Can we go there? I mean, there must be some kind of point of interest. Yasmin sounded like she really wanted to talk. See? This piece must weigh a ton, but it's barely touching the ground. It's called Central of Mass. Physics. Hello, Mr. Counselor. Would you like me to start with my time travel trauma, or should we dive right into finding my friend dead in the snow? What's here? Nothing interesting here. This kind of art isn't really my thing. Unless it's the subject of a photo. Is this like an art school or something? I shouldn't keep you as 
This will help me get my bearings a little bit. I can't read it. Just when you thought the online tests were behind us. Sorry, I'm not at liberty to discuss any facts of the case. That's uh, Loretta something. Seen her in a few of my workshops. Journalism major, I think. Doesn't look like she's getting the scoop she wanted. The circumstances. Extra security. So why don't I feel any safer? I'll head over to Admin to see Yasmin soon. <laughs> it's really nice to have something small to laugh at, actually. Mail room, instructor, cover, instructor of it. Mid quad, main quad. Why a uh, red mate? Administration. I think we should go to administration, but we should go here first. I can't be late to see as mean if I never gave her a time. True. True. You don't, I guess. But it's down to just us and our assassins. If we could wonder twins this shit, we could clean up. Right. We could win the cash prize. That's the idea. 500 American dollars, 250 each. I can finally visit my sister in Portland. All right. Clearly I'm not the only artist on this campus with Amanda on the brain. Coffee for when you lose your will to live. We can order. Hey, uh, black coffee? Sure thing. Ah, uh, is in play. I wish you would have never come back to Arcadia Bay. Push me You're to the floor, boy, show me how to breathe. I haven't stayed in one place this long since. Well, it's been a while. I almost forgot what belonging feels like. And now, this. Now, Sophie. I should have known better than to hope things would be different. Sometimes, it feels like I'm cursed. No matter how fast and far I run, the past is still gonna find me. Sky cat attacks. Took this right after I left Arcadia Bay. I think that's the most alone I've ever felt. Ugh, I can't even look at this right now. My old stuff is just 
cringe. But this is my wing. Safi told me to look at this whenever I feel like an imposter. To remind me that I've earned this. I'll do it, Safi. I promise. What's that saying? If you're going through hell, keep going? That's cool. I got a little reminder of Al Caribe. Thanks for not. And I thought Amanda couldn't get any cuter. If I can break into a bowling alley, I'm sure these chuckle fucks can bypass a dorm lock. This is why I take I always take the this long to finish the game. I like explore thing. That's creepy. Well, let's go to Yasmin then. Okay, Yasmin's off. Not a crosswalk. This is down the hall. Thanks for nothing, Khaled on campus security. Too little, too late. Wait, where are you? Larry? Huh, that sounds like a DNA to me. I hate to ask, but any word on the proposal you sent Dr. Fayad? If only. Everyone, students, faculty, nothing makes you feel alone like a chair made for two. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. Mm. No. Guess everyone's too literary for YA these days. Cowards. Here, yes, it's bent. Howdy, then. Howdy. Let me guess. She texted you to come see her. I keep telling her to send all comms through me, but sometimes she goes rogue. How dare she use her phone without your permission? You think this is an easy gig? Kahuna's got a social calendar like a TikTok influencer. I'm sorry. Kahuna? That's borderline adorable. Oh. Listen. I'm, I'm really sorry about Safi. Thanks. Me too. She and I had our issues. But she was an amazing person, and we're all going to miss her. That's a big business talk. Issues? 
What could the two of you have to fight about? I got between Safi and her mom constantly. Could you blame her for hating my ass? It's good you're here. She's... Well, she's about like you'd guess. I don't know what I can do. Are you kidding? She's obsessed with you. I I'm a little jealous, actually. See, I only like favoritism when I'm the one who's favored. Why does that not surprise me? Well, she's got somebody with her now, so it'll be a few. Or if you're dying for stimulation, I've got a package waiting for me down the hall. You're welcome to get it for me. Does your beneficence know no bounds? <laughs> Fuck! You gotta be kidding me! Sounds like someone else needs my help. Good luck. Have fun. We are going to the mailing room and speak with Gwen. Just the fuck's Gwen. You Gwen? Oh, you are Gwen. Dr. Gwen Hunter. She was Sophie's mentor for a long time. Was she the one I heard from down the hall? Gwen? All good? Uh, Max. I, uh, so, I'm a hugger, um, are you a hugger? World champion hugger, as a matter of fact. Bring it in. God. I didn't realize how bad I needed that. <laughs> I couldn't just stand there. You look like you were walking around in a trance. That's pretty much how I feel. Is there anything you need or that I can do for you? Actually, I was hoping to give you a hand. You sounded like you could use it. Oh, right. I came in here to pick up a book, but lo and behold, some genius locked it up. Oh, hey, you're like the, uh, breaking and entering queen, right? Think you can get past this lock? So that's what everybody thinks of me? The home invader? Bad reputation, twins? Boom. Bad reputation, twins. Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny? This copy might be locked in the case, but it looks like I can grab Gwen another one from the library. Think it's in your wheelhouse? Expensive display, cheap lock. He loved to see it. Anything skinny and curved ought to do the trick. Okay, so we have a choice here. Do we? break the lock or we just go to shelf 12 maybe get the book i don't know how shelf works here i don't sell. Oh, okay that's, yeah that's easier 12 number 12 I have to try to like be bad. These are all by current or former faculty. Now I feel like a slacker. Thanks. There's no point of interest here. Ah, okay. 
That pen looks like the right size for Gwen's lock, but it needs more of a curve in it. Self-publishing before it was cool? Who are you, Maya Okada? There must be something I can use. You know, Gretch, it's okay to be sad. You don't have never met the woman herself, but her bust feels like an old friend somehow. Love a good fireplace. Love modern heating even more. But should we go outside? Those are too thick to pick that lock in the library. Is it weird that I know that at a glance? Yeah. When is something thin and has a curve? But it's a main objective, what the f This must have the package Vin was worried about. I could bring it to him. Aha. Uh -huh. shouldn't leave with this package for Ven. Skinny and curved. That's actually kind Andy. of perfect. Uh, why is... You did it! You're a lifesaver! Yeah, I probably should have figured that out myself. But, uh, hey, what can you do? We're all a touch fucked at the moment. I hope the book was worth all that trouble. What is it? Oh, it's an old mystery novel. It's the author's debut, actually. Kind of random, I know. <laughs> 
Did Safi ever tell you about the manuscript she was working on? I'll take it to my grave. I knew she wanted to write a book someday, but I don't think she ever got the chance. Why? Oh, no particular reason. Just hoping we have plenty to remember her by. Her legacy, you know. Thanks again for the help. And don't be a stranger, okay? My door is always open. Thanks. You too. Oh, the other package. No. Hey, Max. Moses, I. Yasmin's waiting for you. Are you okay? I've been. Can it wait? I'm like. A husk right now. I. I need a minute. Yeah, sure. Meet me in the Fab Cafe. Grab a hot chocolate and I'll find you when I'm done. I can do that. I have to get to Fab Cafe to I am telling you to do your job. You're a parent, Chief Banks. Surely you... Of course. Yes? Please, anything you learn. Yes. Goodbye. That was the Lakeport Police Chief. Overconfident and underqualified. Give them a chance. I'm sure they're doing their best. This is their best? What a horrifying thought. Let me ask you something. Be honest with me. Safi and I weren't always so close. Things used to be... difficult. Did she tell you that? No, but family is always complicated, isn't it? Who has a perfect relationship with their mom? Well... Not Safi. Not always. So, what's your question? Despite everything they have found, the police have still not ruled out suicide as the cause of death. Maxine, you and Safia were friends. She told you things she wouldn't tell me. Is there any reason to think she may have taken her own life? Safi would never have hurt herself or anybody else. It's not who she is. That's what I believe as well. But sometimes, the people closest to us are capable of hiding their own pain. She was fine the last I saw her. She was excited about the future. And that's how I will choose to remember her. Happy... and hopeful. I'm sorry. I wish I could have done more. You've done enough, Maxine. 
Thank you. Oh, um, before you go, we need a picture of Safia for the memorial materials. Would you mind taking a look and choosing your favorite? Sure. Pick one photo to capture Safi? That's a tough ask. Safi loved lazy Sunday afternoons. Safi knew how to be serious when she needed to, but she was just such a dork. Whenever she spoke, you just couldn't help but want to listen. Safi was the most thoughtful person I ever knew. This is the one. Well, I did the best I could. Guess I should go find Moses. Yasmin is following the case really closely. Too bad they haven't found anything. Yasmin got to see Safi's early drafts. That's a rare privilege. We should set the time to do more thorough preparations as well. From what I've heard about Krampus, this must have been taken at the beginning of the night. I like gift bearcase. Yes, I've. Nope, we can. Well, we'll take the package then. Oh, we can, yes. I should talk to Moses. He's waiting for me in the fab. Here you go. Saved you the trip. <laughs> What's this? Uh, don't tell me we're becoming friends. All right, settle down. You just caught me in a generous mood. <laughs> All right. What do you want? What do I want? Sure. Nothing's free. At least, not if you're smart. So, what do you want? Nothing now, but... You'll owe me. One favor. Delivered on demand. You drive a hard bargain, Caulfield. But I like it. <laughs> You're full of surprises. Let's go here. Is it here? Moses is waiting for me in the fab. Do you know where the fab is? I don't. Let's see some. Let's see. Uh, our doctor factory. I told Moses I would meet up with him after I was done talking to Yasmin. That way lies up, the truth. Here. Where I would currently be drinking, if I had time. Where's the fab, man? Where's the fab? Legend says that if you give Facebox Man a little smooch, he gets seven years of good luck. Hang in there, David. I told Moses I would meet up with him after I was done talking to Yasmin. Yes, map.
There's a baby. This is the admin building. There's not there, maybe. I don't think it is. I can't go there. Any map? Is there any map? Moses should be in the fab. I know, I know, I need the map. Where map? There. This will help me get my bearings a little bit. Where is sister? And there. Fine arts building. God dang. Where's the door? I wonder if Moses has gotten his hot chocolate yet. I told you, don't contact me on this phone. And texts only, no calls. Hmm, this sounds interesting. Well, I'm, I'm sure the police know that already, even if... I understand that, but did they find anything? Interesting call? Uh, Loretta. Jeez. You scared the hell out of me. Did you need something? Need? Nah, I was just curious about Dr. Hunter's phone call. Seems I'm not the only one. Wow. <laughs> Caught in the act. I swear I used to be better at this kind of thing. Did you? That sounds like a story I should hear. Well, since you're not busy, maybe you could help me out, you know? One snoop to another? I'm not, I... Just hold on. Let me relocate. What can I do for you? You could give me a quick soundbite for my podcast. Um... What a soft bit. Maybe tell me a little about it first. Part journalism, part analysis, investigative type stuff. The human condition. You get it. Oh. I guess that's fine. What do you need? Just for background, you were close friends with Safi Llewellyn Fayette. Oh. Um... Yeah, we're... We were friends. Is it true she used school resources for personal purposes and that her mother turned a blind eye? I'm not gonna help you smear Safi. If you're not into it, I'll just go interview Dr. Hunter instead. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk about. Oh, she's a bitch. You're bluffing. You were trying to listen in too. You said so yourself. Oh, shit. Hi, Professor. I just thought you might want to know that Miss Caulfield's been listening to your calls. Loretta? I don't know how you have time to be a snitch when you still owe me revisions. Beat it. Hit that, bitch. What a little shit. But she's not a liar. Anything you want to tell me, Max? I wanted to check on you. You seemed so upset in the library earlier. Max, I don't like to be pitied. And I like fake pity even less. Oh, Leave shit. That's just the wrong... You know, 
I really thought we were cool. Just stay out of my way. Fantastic. Anything else want to go wrong today? Might as well pack it all in at once. <laughs> I got ready to after, right after this one. Far be it for me to question the wisdom of our great Jin. But why are we handing out roses for some dead shit? No one even seems to want one. Not our standard Abraxas mission, this. but at least it doesn't involve... Of course. Nothing can happen on campus without some kind of Abraxas commentary. These are pretty extra, but I think Safi would have appreciated that. Gwen did just tell me to stay out of her way. Does that mean she really is up to something? I see how fucked up, how fucked up am I if I just open this. Damn it. She just locked this. If I could just... No. Even if I could rewind, that shit's behind me now. You bitch. Okay, fun now if it's a chase now. I don't even know where to start. I didn't return your texts or call you. I should have. I get why you didn't. Really. And I'm sorry too. Probably should have given you some space. Listen, the last few days have been hell. But we're both here now. And we're going to get through. I just... I keep replaying it in my head. Could we have done something? Gotten there sooner or called her when she didn't come back? Why didn't one of us go with her, Max? Why do we let her walk off alone like that? Don't. Don't torture yourself. We can't change any of it. What if I can't do this, Max? You can't. Neither of us can. Not alone. But the next time you need me, I'll be there. Safi weighs heavily on us today. In fact, my best-selling novel speaks to this precise moment. Safi disliked my book, ironically, but sales don't lie. And being remembered for one's words is a kind of immortality. Grief is fleeting. But words... Words are deathless. They endure. I want to honor Safi Llewellyn and pay tribute to her unique voice. Hence why we're holding class on the quad today. Is that Lucas? Comanero, head of the lit department. God, what a pretentious creep. 
Safi hated his guts. I don't give a shit what Lucas does. You shouldn't either. It just bugs me seeing him up there, basking in everybody's sadness. Safi never found the audience that so few of us enjoy. It's up to us to keep her fire burning. Tell me that shutting him up won't make me feel better. It won't. But I wouldn't blame you for trying it anyway. I'll find you later. I can't watch this. AG. Breaking and entering. We are criminal, aren't we? Ugh. Lucas gets under my skin. I could try to shut him up. Or I could just stay out of it and go keep Moses company. I pause to catch my breath. This kid, I swear to God. Double entendres can't be his whole per- A receding shadow lurks in the periphery, beyond the overgrown grass and the fallen bird's nest. It peels back the bitter cold. Jeez, Lucas. Your class must be freezing. Like a crack of light across my heart. A wild, stirring arrhythmia. Max, good to see you. I'm not sure Sophie would want you to give kids frostbite on her behalf. Sometimes it's easier to process grief as a community. Oh, is that what you're doing? You were close with Sophie too, weren't you? Anything you'd like to say? I hate this guy. I can't really talk about it yet. Not like you. Would someone else like to speak? Great. Diamond, please. Come on up and share with us. Enough of this. I should see how Moses is doing. Nobody to acknowledge how terrifying this whole situation is. Let's stay on the subject. Okay, Diamond? Like, we can leave. Oops, Here? I'll have to hit up nope. the snapping turtle later. Moses needs company. Snapping turtle. I need the map again. Where's the map? Map somewhere on an eye. Some of history's greatest. This will help me get my bearings Snapping a little bit. Snapping There we go. Okay. Where is the map? Seriously, though, are you. Need anything? Hold on, what? Maya Okada. I wonder who she was. Maybe they'll plant a tree for Safi too. Wait, 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 I need, I need another map. Go for fun and go and just. Everything turns out that way, so. 
yeah, going over the river and straight. We cannot go straight because of this this construction zone. How do you get there? I'll have to hit up the snapping turtle later. Moses needs company. Oh, oh yes, Moses first. I don't know where Moses is getting. Where's Moses? Where did Moses head to? That's good question, Max. That's good question. I mean, he's going this way, but. Is that him? Yes. So, did it make you feel better? Shutting him up? We both knew it wouldn't. What I really wanted was to see Safi shut him up. <laughs> God, can you even imagine? Mm. Hey, I have a question about Safi. Okay. How did you guys meet anyway? I never asked. It's not much of a story. I came to Caledon late, mid-year. Safi was assigned to give me the big, shiny grad student tour. I think she saw it as a chore. Doesn't Yasmin have a VIN for that? Exactly. But uh, then she saw this bracelet I got in Kyoto. A little cherry blossom. I've always liked that bracelet. She just finished a poem called Hanami. It means watching blossoms in Japanese. I haven't thought about that in a while. What's the deal with this bench? You tease to sit here all the time. Oh yeah. Guess we did, huh? Uh, this was our lunch bench when we were both teaching in summer school. For someone so chatty, she really got the appeal of comfortable silence, you know? Hey, Max. Yeah. I'm gonna use present tense for just a little longer. I'm not ready for Safi to be a was yet. I'm with you, Moses. Go ahead and stay present tense as long as you want. Just a little longer. Okay. I might need a little alone time. Probably just as well. I gotta get over to the observatory anyway. You'll text if you need anything? Yeah. Promise. You too. Yeah? No, yeah, it's you want to go in aggressive with the red deck. Hit hard and don't let up. Blue's more tactical. Moses? Oh shit. It's not rock, paper, scissors. Any color deck can beat any other with the right colors. Yeah. Anytime. <laughs> Later. What the hell was that? Where's that other Moses? How do I bring him back? There it is. The bus. Declare your allegiance! 
Come on, Diamond. Seriously? Conscientious objector. That's what they all say. I'm unarmed, okay? Just want to get a hot cocoa. That's it. Snowballs down. Let the observer pass. What is going on? What am I seeing? Better keep following Moses until I figure it out. Decorations? But all the holiday stuff was postponed until next week. Now that's the vulgar boulder I fell in love with. I can't believe Max would stand me up. You were supposed to have lunch at the turtle. This is happening. This is real. Probably afraid you're charging the whole thing to a car. Oh my god, dude. Go. I'll get to the trail. It's too cold for this. That really was Sophie. I think I have to get to her. I can hear her. Sophie, I'm right here, right in front of you. Fuck it, I got pizza rolls in my office. Freeze to death. Perceptor. 
Let's see our choices. Hey, hey. It's uh, plus to 50-50 per usual. Yes. Everything. Well, I'm at the majority in this one. This too. Oh, it's just a page for me. But we can stall it? Uh, I don't know that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Line fail the majority of success. Stuff is pick up line. Stuff is fuck me. All right. Choice majority. Photo wall, max life for photo wall asset. How? How do we add our Arcadia pictures? Coffee shop, um, and of reflection. I got it. I got that too. Must have dropped it. Ah, yeah. Okay, still. Oh, I got the the minority. Okay. Yeah, decline the spread. Book. Oh, there is multi layers. Okay. Well, man, this is for the first chapter tonight. Yeah. I'll be playing this second chapter next week. Hope I can play on Saturday like usual time I stream. But if I cannot, I will play it on my, on Sunday like this. And yeah, this first time in a while I stream at Twitch. But I'll post the video, the VOD on YouTube. So I did it out some of the pops and some of the unimportant thing that happened here and there and yeah i hope you guys watch it enjoy it and yeah, please don't please don't forget to follow so thank you for the view see ya